Your scenes are boring and lacking atmosphere, but it's fine because we can make them dusty with Blender. So you've got your scene, but you're missing that dust. Don't worry, it's some very simple stuff. First thing, add a cube and scale it up so it covers your whole scene, or just where you want the dust to be. Then head into the particle menu and create a new system. You can just leave it as an emitter. To see what we're doing, click on object settings and head down to viewport visibility. Then just switch it from textured to bounds. Next, set the start and end frames to 1. This makes sure that all our particles exist from frame 1. Also, make sure to increase their lifetime to a high number so that they live forever. To get the particles to generate from inside the cube instead of the surface, we need to change the source from face to volume. Look at them go! But they just fall, so let's fix that. Head over to the field weights and turn the gravity to zero. Now they just float, but let's give them life. To do that, look under velocity and change the normal to zero, and then turn up the random until you have them barely moving. If you end up deciding that you want them to slowly fall, you can head back over to the field weights and turn up the gravity slightly. You've got the dust moving and feeling right. Now it's just time to make it look right. Create an icosphere and leave the subdivision level as 2. Don't worry, since the object is going to be instanced in the particle system, we can have hundreds of thousands of these guys without Blender having a care in the world. Now for the dust material, what I found works best is the simple translucent BSDF. It's simple but effective. You can change the colour and brightness to get the look you're after. Now take that sphere and either hide it or place it somewhere off screen, because we've just created our first speck of dust. Now to bring the two parts together. Head into the particle system we just created and scroll down to the render tab. This lets us choose what each particle looks like. Since we want the dust icosphere we just created, set the render as setting to object and then choose the icosphere. Here you can also set the scale and the scale randomness, so mess around with it until you have something that looks right. But remember that dust is pretty damn small. Now we need to populate our entire scene, but to keep things running smoothly on our computer, we're going to use children. Ah, uh, I mean the 3D kind. So head down to that menu and set it to simple. The amount here pretty much multiplies the number of particles that you've created. So set the viewport number to something low and the render number to something high. So it looks good in the render. You just have to play around with these numbers and the original particle count to get something that you feel looks good. Now for the final step, to make sure our dust emission cube doesn't obscure anything, we're going to either give it a volumetric material, or just give it a transparent material to get it fully out of the way. With that complete, just turn on depth of field in the camera settings and you should start seeing out of focus dust particles. Hit render and you're done. If you learned something or found value in this video, just leave a like or a sub because it really helps out my small channel.